Hello guys, today I want to show you another CPU project I built in Minecraft. Now it's not an ordinary 8-bit CPU, it's actually a rebuilded CPU. I rebuilt Ben Egon's 8-bit laptop computer. Now I decided to build like he did in his video, so it works the same. And it has one main bar, as you can see here. And to make the signal transmission possible in both directions, I had to use two ray repeaters, as you can see here. They transmit the signal in both directions, no matter on which direction they are coming, unlike a regular repeater. And yeah, that makes sure that all components get the signal from the main bus, and also can set the signal onto the main bus. Now, the specs are the same as in Van Eagle's CPU. You have an 8 bit ALU, which can do addition and subtraction with the carry and the zero flag added. Then we have two general purpose registers the A and the B register, both are singery. And we have 16 bytes of memory, or RAM, and it's used for both storing the program and the and some number. Now back there is the address decoder and the address register, so it can select each address. Back here we have the output register and the instruction register, and that is the program found on here. Now, it is not expandable, the CPU, since it doesn't need to part I.O. mapping, but this wasn't the goal of this project anyways. And yeah. Now, this is the whole control logic. It works like Ben Eagles' uh, control logic in the CPU. We have our patching cycle. And then it can do the instructions up to three steps. Now the instructions get chosen by this address decoder. And this is the five, uh, the step counter, which can count up to five steps to make all these instructions run. So it doesn't work exactly the same as he did since I didn't want to build a huge ROM to store each possibility and build a huge decoder to select each address, so I made it with more logic, but still, each instruction is stored in this lookup table here. Now, the clock, it clocks, uh, the clocks with a signal each 7 seconds, so each 7 seconds we will get another step count. And yeah, so the control logic works like in his. Now I load in a counting program, which will count up to 255. And I decided to make the, make the instructions set like in his computer, so you can actually copy his programs and program them on this CPU and they will work exactly the same. Obviously they are much slower since the clock speed is much uh, is pretty slow, but it will still work just fine. Now to show you the control panel here, we have the single step button, so we can do a single step. We can start the program, so it will start the clock. Then we have the run and the programming mode. In the run mode, we can run our programs. In the programming mode, we can program the CPU with these eight levers here. And we can select in the programming mode the address we want to write to. And also save this line so it's stored in the program memory. Now, this reset program button will reset only the program in the memory. So it will only reset the memory here, and the reset CPU will reset everything except the memory.
memory so we don't lose our programs when we use the CPU. And this is a small halt indicator light which will halt the CPU, uh, which will show if the CPU is in the halt state. So that's everything I wanted to show you. Now I will just sit in here and you can watch the program count up in a small little time map. So have a nice day and bye. Thank you.